Hey, what is up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this awesome looking church. I'm not only going to show you how to make the exterior, but I'm also going to show you how to make the interior of the church. The interior of the church is very, very simple, guys. When we come in, we have a little bit of a lantern. We have some banners. We have a lectern. We have the crawls. We have the lanterns on all the bus. So, but we don't have any uh, go entrances going to the bell but if you want to make i will show you how you can make it so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> for making this bed now these are the materials you will require for making this church you will require every one of these in my hot bar and in my inventory you will require every one of these and every single of these please make sure you have every one and every single one of these and that's it if you want to make more of these buildings, please like, share, and subscribe to Game Boy 23106. So, without any further ado, let's get started. If you made this grid, come all the way to the left of the grid. Now, if you made this grid, go back. Wait, guys, we need to make this like the opposite. We need to first take the we need to go back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we need to go 6 blocks back from the grid. If you made the grid, if you did not make the grid, you can start wherever you want. I am not saying to make the grid, guys, but if you are planning out a city, please make this grid. And I am not only going to make this church, but I am also going to make a fire station, police station, and entire city. So, let's start. Come to the sixth block and place five white concrete on the ground. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. Go right of the, uh, go down and go right of the five, fifth. First white concrete, go right by five grey concrete. That's one, two, three, four, five. We don't need five here, guys. We need only four because the on total we need four. Say five. Now place a white concrete at the end and may go up by four. One, two, three, and four. Like that. Four. So then go right by five that's one two three four five place a white card can go up by five four one two three four right by five one two three four five five white concrete right by five one two three four five white concrete five of those right by five one two three four five white concrete like that right by five one two three four five white concrete five of those now you will think that we need to connect, but no, we don't need to connect. We need to place the same pattern at the back also. We need to go back by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place white concrete and go up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go right by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up by 5. Right by 5. 
up by five with the white concrete and connect it at the side. Now this would be the shape you will require. You will have if you made like me. This would be the shape. It would be looking like a T shape. All right. Now we can just start by making our grid. So for uh, door, wait. So play, destroy the middle block and add a birch door. Destroy the left and right of the door. Add white stained glass pane all the way going around, guys. Add a row of grey concrete on top like that. Now we need to place. We need to make a cross here, but we will talk about it later. So we need to make a back in here. Back we need to make a cross. A different color and colored cross so for making that we don't need white concrete gray concrete like we need some uh, yellow concrete orange con orange uh, yellow glass orange glass lime glass red glass and white glass we need these four five colors on the medalist block we need to we need to place we need to place a white glass on top we need to place okay we need one more color guys we don't need orange we will need pink we need pink so add a yellow lime here red here and pink here share green there and okay so we also need orange guys i just i just uh, we need six colors so we need to make this red here and pink here we need to make the yellow glass here no we need uh, the orange glass here okay, i just remembered it we don't need these two colors here and we need to place the green on top like that add now we don't need these uh, colors so we can take out previous blocks we don't need like that we need a white glass we need to place gray concrete all the way else like that like that we need to place these like that now on the other five window we need to make this as a window so windows when i will show you one and i will be skipping this part because i uh, this would be a long process so we need to make one two we need to make uh, a circle or we need to uh, make like a square part of gray concrete in between the five uh, gray, gray concrete uh, in between the white and gray so we need to place upside down three upside down quad stairs and two glass uh, three uh, three by two by three glass like this we need to do it on every single windows guys and it will look something like this so if you uh, added all of the windows around the uh, church it would be looking exactly like this so let's begin to the next process so the next process is you all know which is the roof so we're making the roof first we need to add another layer gray of gray concrete on top of the door and let's start from the left we need to place a quad stairs on this white concrete go right by one uh, extending the uh, diagonal uh, like ah, yes extending one we need to place one uh, quad stairs upside down like this facing towards that side we need to make it uh, towards that surfacing wait a minute towards that side facing like that and we need to place one more quads up backwards and uh, upside down a single upside down and a single now we need to place upside down quartz is facing that direction 
Now, from here we need to place one normal facing quad stairs upside down. Okay, upside down like this. Normal facing upside down. Normal facing facing towards their direction and a normal facing a normal facing quad stairs. So this would be the shape you will require. We need to place one quartz slab, quartz slab on top like that. Fill in the back with grey concrete. Like this. Fill the back with grey concrete for looking like this. We need to make it on the other side at the front. So let's make the front. So we can make the cross shape in the front also. So we need to place the same extending like that. We need to place a fair normal uh, upside down facing towards the front. A normal upside down, normal upside down, normal. Let me just check if this okay. Please upside down quartz uh, stairs facing towards the front. Quartz slab on top, and we need to make the same thing opposite. So we need to place a normal facing upside down, normal facing upside down normal facing facing towards the front and normal facing to make this like this we need to fill the back again with with the gray concrete now let's make the cross shape for making the cross shape we need to destroy uh, leaving one gap from the gray concrete we need to destroy these three blocks these two blocks and add and add gra uh, the glass white stained glass like this mm. now we need to make the same shape over here guys so I will not say this again guys but you will also, all of you will know that how to make this shape so you guys like this I think this yeah. like that. Alright, now we need to do is connect all of this together. So for connecting that, we need to do the same thing here guys. So I will just uh, fill in the roof. I will speed this up and I will not going to show you the slope. So let's speed this up right now. so after filling the roof guys this would be the uh, finishing guys so uh, i mean to just skip that part guys you now to fast forward it so uh, now this would be the roof completely done guys now I will make the exterior the last and final touch of the exterior. So for that we we want to make the bell guys. So we need to destroy these three quad slab guys in the middle and this this one also. Or we don't need to destroy that. We need to place three glass like this. We need to place glass. I think um four. Oh shit, my battery is okay. That's not a problem, guys. So we need to place four layers of glass. So that's one, two, three, and four. We need to place grey concrete on top. Grey concrete extend in the front, on the back, 
and in the side. Alright. We need to place white concrete all the way around the grey concrete border. This is a modern type church guys. So that's why I am using the grey and uh, the uh, white. You can use wood guys if you want. Now we need to add birch fence all the way around the uh, structure place now for making the bell we need to extend this birch fence up by two one two three guys so one two one three one two three one two one three one one two one three all right we need to place quartz stairs on top of the birch fence guys to make the birch mm, we need to make the top like this Now on top, we need to make this like a circular pattern guys. We need to make this as a circular pattern. I think we will stop at the two quartz slab or one. I don't know how many quartz slab we will uh, in the end. How many quartz we will require. So, let me just check. We need to place it on like that now five so i think that would be an odd number guys i think that would be a three so i said you guys we need to place three quartz lab on top like this so my original version i i just made this like i did not extend uh, the gray country to sideways but in this particular version i just did it I'm destroying this guys because I can't go in. So for making the bell, we need to place grey concrete from one end to another end. From in the middle, guys. Here in the middle, we need to place grey concrete going all the way. Like in the middle. We need to add the bell over there. And we need to add our quartz tears here. And that's our church completely done for the exterior part. Now, if you want to make the garden type, guys, over here, we can make it, guys, right now. So, I will just take the materials and I will be back. So, we will require these three materials. We will require some oak leaves, rose bush, and little peony. First layer, we need to add the peony. Then we need some leaves, add oak leaves, peony, rose bush, and oak leaves. We need to do it all the way over here also, guys. First layer some leaves. Peony also no go. What? Not grass block, guys. Now, that's the fully, completely exterior, guys. My battery is going to low. So, let's make the interior, guys. I will come back when the interior things we uh, the things that we need for the interior i will come back and these are the materials you will require for making the inside make sure you grab every one of these and every one uh, single one of these now at the first we will only need some birch wood planks birch wood stairs lectern sea lantern sea lantern 
and bird friends the first day lantern is a normal lantern guys so come towards the front of your church now destroy underneath the white concrete and add birch wood planks add the door open it now the first thing we need to do is we need to add birch birch wood planks to two in two places guys we need to add birch planks destroying all of this ground and add birch wood planks so i will just destroy it and i will be back when it all of this is done would be our church when destroy i will destroy all of the grass over here and this would be when i just dig uh, added the birch wood planks to the church now let's do the next thing we need to add birch wood on top of this white a block of quartz or the quartz stairs area we need to add birch wood planks on top of every single one of this area guys i will not skip this part guys because we need this part so now we need to do the same thing over here also guys so adding this all the way around now like this now that would be the uh, upper top of uh, the church and underneath the church now we need to do is we need to add lanterns guys for making this lanterns we need to start from this block the second block we need to place birch wood birch wood fence we need to do is we need to destroy all of this like that we need to add sea lantern here on top here we need to make uh, two uh, four spaces like this four spaces like this for the lanterns so here we can place our lanterns so this is how we make one lantern or one uh, one ceiling light we need to make this tree one two more times we need to make it not there here we need to make this uh, in these positions we need to place birch three layers this light go up here yes there here and there this is very very hard guys to make in this same thing because we need we need to place the same thing here also guys three by three like that we need to just do this that and one two three these lanterns all the way like this so these are the three positions where we need these lanterns now we need to do 
is we need to make that third thing. So on day five, we need to add three rows of birch wood, uh, birch wood planks like this. Three rows like this. We need to add a border of wood, uh, birch wood stairs all the way around it. So like this. We need, if you want, I'm not going to make, uh, I'm not going to say, uh, made, I don't, I didn't make this in our original version, but I will show you how to make some uh, seating. So, we need to place a lectern in the middle. There. That's our lectern. Now, we need to make some uh, banners. So, before I do some banners, we need to do the seating. So for making the seats, we, uh, you can choose uh, whichever um, stairs you can. But I am choosing spruce stairs. Okay. And some spruce slab. Now, we need to place spruce stairs. One, two, three. And one, two, three. We need to add uh, three stairs, uh, three slabs in front. Like this. Or we can make this one more row. Like so like leaving a set of gap in middle. You need to make the same thing on the that side. So leave a gap of one, not two. Leave a gap of two. And if you don't want to make that quad slab thing guys. We are not preferring that because it would be mm, very space consuming. Have much less better. Oh well. Now, now that's the uh, seating area, and that's the now the last thing, which is banners, guys. So I will just put these thing in a side, and I will take our loom, red banner, yellow dye, lime dye, and orange dye. We need to smash that loom, open it. And we need to place the red banner, yellow. We need to make the yellow border. Place the new banner, orange dye, red. Oh, red. now take the green dye, do the red. And we need to make the same border. So that's the shape banner we need guys we need to put it every single place guys here like the same right here 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 the opposite here we need to place it not there guys like that and that's the um, can't say that's the because if you want you can make a simple chair over here so we will meet in another video guys if you want to see more such of the uh, city builds guys or modern survival um, uh, uh, cartoon builds type build guys i am not only going to build these uh, city build i will all, always building city builds so um i want to say to you guys i built a modern house a survival house i made many of the tutorials guys so if you want to see any of these please go to my channel game boy 23106 so game boy 23106 is going to sleep guys till then Goodbye. Oh, hey, you like my shark's